don't need to be a doctor to understand that blood loss is bad. Blood loss is going to place increased stress on the patient in general, particularly their heart, their lungs and their immune system. There's strong evidence that increased blood loss leads to increased post-operative infections. It's hospital stays are strongly associated with increased blood loss and costs obviously will be as well. Depending on the amount of blood loss, that could lead to generalized systemic reactions such as lung issues, kidney issues. So the mobility associated with blood loss is huge. If you obtain quick and good hemostasis, you minimize all those complications and the outcome is much, much better. My particular area of interest is scoliosis surgery, bent spines. And in order to straighten the spine, we often need to cut and reshape the bone so that we can make it straight again. Bone cutting is a necessary part of the job. And as a result, you're left with an open bleeding surface. You can't tie bone off, you can't cauterize bone. Historically, we've used bone wax, which is no more technical than candle wax. And the problem is it stops the bone healing and growing through it once it's been placed on. So to have a product that allows the bone to heal after the bleeding has been stopped is absolutely vital. Nowhere is blood loss management more difficult than in trauma situations like those found on the battlefield. In response to this, a recent innovation called soft matter nanotechnology fibers could drastically reduce blood loss both in combat zones and in ORs around the world. This new technology is being developed by St. Teresa Medical and is designed to reduce uncontrolled bleeding by combining biologic agents in a medical device. Surgiclot is a new dressing that's been developed to control bleeding and leakage of other fluids in the body and it's very elegant in its simplicity because it's only made of three components. One is dextran and the other two are clotting proteins, thromin and fibrinogen. There are other products that have thromin and fibrinogen in them that have been used for a long time, but the problem with them is they have horse collagen or plant cellulose in them, so they swell and they can cause complications which have been reported in the literature. The beautiful thing about Surgiclot is that the carrier component of it dissolves and goes away and then the product shrinks. The two clotting proteins come together and form a seal over the artery or whatever's bleeding, so there's no swelling. There's no foreign body reaction, and it's highly effective. It literally will help save lives and limbs, but particularly in the surgical field, will have a significant impact in neurosurgery, orthopedics, and cardiothoracic surgery to begin with, but then eventually all types of procedures. In orthopedic procedures, especially in the areas of spinal surgery, orthopedic oncology, trauma, and recon, many patients have their total knees or total hips done outpatient, and total knees in particular can bleed at home after the release and make the knee difficult to rehabilitate in some patients. The knee becomes very stiff and they have to have one to two additional procedures to address this. There's a huge amount of healthcare economics and we've had the same feedback from other orthopedic surgeons who visited us recently at the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Surgiclot is the next generation of disruptive products to reduce hemorrhage in surgical procedures. And preliminary studies show that it could be a dominant product in surgery to control fluid loss. I've used Surgiclot in the operating room and in the lab. It does what it's expected to do, that is stop the bone bleeding and allow me to see what I need to see. It stops epidural bleeding, which is bleeding around the spinal cord. And it also will seal any dural leaks as well. It's certainly superior to anything else we currently have available. Once Surgiclot has gone through necessary regulatory clearances, it will first be used to stop bleeding bone, but the product shows great promise for broader applications in many areas that are problematic for surgeons. It's useful essentially in all kinds of bleeding. For example, arterial bleeding, bleeding from trauma, bleeding from postpartum hemorrhage, ENT, bleeding even something as simple as a bloody nose. And beyond bleeding, it has other applications, for example, in the brain and spinal cord, leakage of the CSF when the surgeon is working there, if there's been an injury. It's going to be very useful, we think, in burn treatment. People with large burns lose a lot of fluids and electrolytes through the burns. So we feel that it's going to have all kinds of applications, even though our initial indication is going to be for bleeding bone. When I was in the military, I was with a four surgical team. And a forward surgical team is the closest medical team to the battlefield other than the combat medic, which means that our resources are very limited. And if you have in your toolkit 
hemostatic agent, you could carry plenty of it because it doesn't take a lot of room, and you could apply it immediately when the patient comes to your little area, then that's a huge, huge benefit to the patient. And specifically, if that hemostatic agent works quickly, so having something like that in the battlefield, you could save somebody's life. Our mission patterned much after Mother Teresa, whose mission was to help people and save lives. Our revolutionary soft matter nanotechnology will disrupt and revolutionize the surgical, hemostatic, and therapeutic markets, saving lives and improving patient outcomes. Our product is the only product that will be bioresorbable, biocompatible, dissolvable, and shrink upon contact. And shrinkage in, around neural structures is a good thing. To learn more about Surgiclot, visit stteresamedical.com today.